friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I like when people are straight shooters, uh, regardless uh, if it's good for me or bad for me, but I like it. Uh, I appreciate that. That tells courage, or at least the ability to say, you know what, I'm already crossed across the bridge, so now I can destroy the bridge, you know, I used you. Even then, it's better than pretend even after you definitely try to destroy me, say, it, 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 it was not me. No, I'm your, I'm your friend. I don't like that weasel. You know, like, come and tell me I'm going to punch you in the face, punch me in the face and see what's happening. And if you win, you win. And I'm and say, yeah, man, I beat you up. I know I'm better. Okay, you proved it. Great, great. I like that kind of uh, <clears throat> attitude. I don't like the weasel attitude. What do we have here? NATO finally comes out and uh, proves, doesn't say it, proves by actions that they are in control and they are the ones actually trying to destroy Russia with the Ukrainian na nation being in the middle decimated or take the hot potato out of the fire with Ukraine's hand. And Ukraine is doing that because a few reasons. So what happened? We have uh, General Zaluzny and General Zaluzny calls his boss, uh, a NATO general, we're going to mention all the names and uh, titles and their ranks, and uh, they're going to discuss the, what's next. Why would you, a country at war with another country, discuss with someone else what is going to be your next plan? Do you do this? Unless the other guy is with you. We're going to discuss what we're going to do about that guy. So let me show you this Ukraine Forum article. It is from um, today, the 5th of January 2024. Zaluzny and Kavoli discuss countermeasures against Russia's massive missile strike. Well, please substitute this war, discuss with plan. Right? Do you think I just discuss? Hey, Zaluzny, how was it? Well, man, those missiles were pouring down like uh, rain, man, in the summer rain, warm and hard uh, drops mm, coming down my lips. Uh, you think that's the way they're going to talk? And the other one's like, ah, say more, man, I like it. Mm, yeah. You think that's, that's the way these guys are going to discuss it? What was to discuss? To plan it. Oh, my. God, weasels. But anyway, at least they come and say it uh, like that. They discuss the countermeasures. So what should we do? Uh, hit them back. Okay. The Commander-in-Chief of Ukraine's Armed Forces. This is the title. Valery Zaluzny discussed with the Supreme Commander of the Joint NATO Forces Europe. So, Supreme Commander of the Joint NATO Forces Europe, Commander... U.S. Papapap General Christopher Cavoli. So he's the supreme commander of NATO in Europe. Discusses. How, how was it, uh, Valeri? Man, Chris, Chris, Chris Cross was man, man, pretty bad. Pretty bad, actually. So they discuss countermeasures against massive missile attacks and possible thank you plans on the part of the Russian invaders. So they discuss about the Russians' plans, not their plans. They just discuss, you know, countermeasures. They discuss, not plans, just got discuss. And I'm, I'm quoting, I told him, no, I reported to him, more like, I re allow me to report, blah, blah, blah. I told you, I told him about the situation along the front line, the operational and strategic situation. Why? Remains to be taught but control, tough but controlled. The armed forces of Ukraine continue to conduct defensive operations, concentrate on repelling enemy at attacks and inflict maximum, maximum losses in his manpower and equipment. Hey, hey, sir! All right, man, said Zalunsky. Great, 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 great. How did that sound? Did that sound like discussion or reporting to you? Anyway, that was his statement uh, on what um, said Zaluzny. That, that's what we did. The interlocutors discussed in detail the possible actions of the enemy, which are expected in the coming weeks and months. Why would you discuss the possible actions of the enemy? To find um, solutions? 
why would you discuss uh, i think he's gonna do that oh yeah man i think so yeah shake hands see you next time we discuss it so we can find solutions to solve the problem man jesus christ read between the lines remember separately i'm quoting we focused on countering the enemies we focused on we planned on how to counter the enemies and mass missile strike i emphasize the need to bolster our air defense systems you see these are euphemism we focused on countering the enemies no we planned on how to in the hell plan against these guys what are we gonna do sir what's your order ready ready teddy the commander-in-chief <laughs> that's a nice title of what a subordinate expressed gratitude let me suck it one time uh, again to American partners for their support and assistance to Ukraine in the fight against Russian aggression. As Ukraine Forum reported, the key topic on the agenda of the meeting of the UNA Ukraine and NATO Council on January 10 will be strengthening of Ukraine air and missile defense systems. Do you think they're going to be sitting around the table and say, man, how many, uh, how many air defense systems should we get in? I don't know, three, no, five, three, no, five, six, four, three, two, four. Okay, that's done, let's leave. If the conversation would be based on what these guys say or surrounding the, the, will be the strengthening, right? The agenda, strengthening of Ukraine air and missile defense systems. What do you think they were, they're going to talk? Zaluzny, let me see. Okay, here are the plans. This is where they have this. We have the information on this. Okay, what information you got? What about you? We got this. Boy, they got some this here. They're going to launch from here. They take off from there. They use this. They use that. They attack usually from uh, Cape Chahuda and Artax, Promorsk, Paparak. Okay, what are we going to do? In order to counter that, you're going to need to have here. We're going to send. Who's going to send? Germany, you send. Okay, Germany. No, Germany. Weasels. Who else? France. Friends left the, the building. Oh, fuck. We got to do it again. Okay, we're going to se send you here some Patriot systems. We're going to send this because the Patriot systems were blown up in Kiev. All of them, you don't have any more, but don't tell anybody. And we have here, here, here. How do you think they're going to plan? With a map, with the forces, the, the Russian forces, the attacks, the points where they uh, launched um, missiles. And they say, we're going to deter them in this corner, in this corner, this corner. We're going to do this. How do you think? Gonna... And then they say, well, we're going to need this. You're going to need this. You're going to need this on the front. So who's going to bring it? Oh, fuck. Well, here we go again. Uh, we're going to bring it. That, that's how they're going to do. And then they say, you do this. You bring over there. You're going to deploy deploy our weapons over there maybe with our personnel but zip it and here and here and here how do you think the conversation is going to be you're going to be over there um how many do you need 20 done uh, who's going to provide that a b c d g whatever weasels done let's go the whole conversation will take what five minutes do you think they're going to meet for five minutes nah so it's clear who's who what's what has been clear for almost two years almost two years i think it was clear in in uh, mariupol in mariupol when the russians uh, encircled the azovstal the steel plant it was clear to me it was clear that uh, nato is involved uh, with a lot i don't know i did not know at that point how far they go i personally did not think i didn't think that uh, the west well the west al capone will kick russia out of swift I said, nah, they will not do that. When they did that, I said, this is all war. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. This is these guys want to pull a Gaddafi on Putin. That's clear. They're going to go all the way. For me, it was clear then. When it was then? Like the first I don't know, month or something of the, of the whole thing, month and a half. Because the Mariupol was in May, in 20 of May, it fell. I was before that when they were saying, NATO send some helicopters, maybe they can do something and pick us up and maybe some NATO generals over there. I was like, shit, what? Oh, okay, well, makes sense. I mean, I had a suspicion because in all American war, wars and locations where they fought someone, they always had, um, always, as far as I know, advisors military advisors and when uh, they got caught and destroyed you find out they were active actually they were not advising yes and right here you do like this and over there you like that yes no 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 keep the finger like that that's great and again do you think that's the advisors that's the way they walked around the troops and or you go boom jesus fucking more likely 
All right, my, most likely. All right, my friends, here it is. Um, Zaluzny goes and reports to his boss and the boss, boss will take the information. They're going to plan and by the time they meet on the 10th, which is in five days, they, the uh, Americans will already come with the, how do you call it, with uh, a plan. Like a clear plan is going to say to the other weasels at NATO. Why do you think Zaluzny met the NATO guy over there? Didn't meet anybody else, just that guy and he's an American. Why is he not a Lithuanian or Estonian? or Latvian, or a Pole. Why not? A da pole dancer. Woo Why not? Because that's not their organization. The club, the uh, plantation is American plantation, Al Capone's plantation, not Polish plantation, or Baltic plantation. It's too clear. It's too clear. And then say, well, the Russians are fighting the Ukraine. Bullshit. The Russians are fighting 30 countries put forward by one guy that is chained, shackled by interest. That's what it is. And those interests are what? Military, uh, manufacturing, their energy, and obviously always the banks. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.